I've got some bad news if you use OneDrive or Google Drive to store your private information in the cloud. Both Google and Microsoft can and do access your private stuff, but it's not what you think and I'm gonna show you what you can do to stop that. We certainly don't want anyone snooping through our documents, having a copy of our family pics, or watching our private videos. So just how worried should we be if we're currently using OneDrive or Google Drive? Most people use cloud storage for three main reasons. Number one is we like the convenience of being able to access our files from anywhere. Number two is we'd like to share our stuff with people by simply sending them a link. And number three is that we like to use cloud storage as a place to back up our files in case our computer crashes or we lose our phones. So the first obvious question is, can we achieve these things without cloud storage? And the answer is of course, yes we can. You don't need to use Microsoft or Google or any other service to create your own cloud. So the next option is to buy something like a Synology NAS drive, which is basically a big storage system where you can dump all your files from your various computers and your phones once you're on your home network so that you have a full backup of absolutely everything. You then run the software on it that allows you to access it from outside your network and then you're good to go with your own cloud. So what's the downside of doing that? Well, obviously you gotta buy the darn thing and you gotta manage it yourself. Plus, there is the cost of the hard drives that go inside the NAS. Plus, you have to set up the encryption to keep everything nice and secure. And on top of that, create backups so that if your own hard drives fails, you don't lose everything. On top of all of that, your NAS is physically located in your premises. So, if there's a fire or a burglary and your NAS is burnt to a crisp or is stolen, there goes all your data. For many people, this is too complicated and simply not an option, and therefore cloud storage is the next viable step. Now, there are many cloud storage providers out there. I'm gonna talk about Google Drive and Microsoft OneDrive as they are the most popular. Of course, do let me know in the comments if you want me to show you some other cloud providers and who I personally use. So, back to our original question. Since we aren't technical enough or we simply don't want to create our own cloud storage, then should we actually trust Google and should we trust Microsoft with our personal information? Now, some of you are immediately gonna say, hell no. And I'm pretty sure that your friends, cousins, roommates, landlord, sister shared something with you on Facebook that you've done your own research. Look, I'm not gonna try to convince you, you do you. For the rest of us, however, let's look at these things called facts. Both Google and OneDrive encrypt your files whilst in transit from your computer to their system without a VPN, and they continue to be encrypted whilst they're on their system with this AES 256-bit encryption. However, you need to know that both Google and OneDrive are not zero-knowledge encryption systems. A zero-knowledge encryption system means that not even the service providers can access your info since only you have the key to unlock your data. And therefore, since Google Drive and OneDrive are not zero-knowledge encryption systems, it means that they technically do hold a key to be able to decrypt your information and therefore read it. Now, before someone screams, see, I told you so. See what I tell you? Conspiracy theories aside, it's a myth that anyone who works for Google or Microsoft can simply pull up anybody's data at a push of a button. There are two main situations where Microsoft and Google will access your data. The first, is if Google and Microsoft are legally forced to. This is typically done when a certain three-letter government agency issues a company with legal warrants, and even in that case, it is handled by specific teams and everything is monitored and logged. The second way that these companies access your data is through an automated system that looks for illegal materials such as child pornography. But even in that case, the system doesn't actually see your images. Whilst they don't go into too much detail, there's something called Microsoft Photo DNA, which basically was developed with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. The system looks at known illegal images and calculates a mathematical hash for each image. So when it's scanning through your data, it isn't actually watching your videos or looking at your photos, it's looking for a matching hash. It is not checking out your stuff. So whilst both Microsoft and Google can technically access your info, the likelihood of them doing so is virtually zero. Okay, but what if you are not convinced? What if you still wanna use Google Drive and you wanna use OneDrive and you still don't want them to be able to open your data? What can you do about that? 
So this is the system that I use. It's called boxcrypto.com. And what this does is that it encrypts your data on your local computer before it goes out to one of their supported providers. So Box Crypto can actually synchronize your data with up to 30 cloud storage providers. Check this out. The one that you use is probably on this list. But the nice thing is that this is a zero knowledge system. In other words, even Box Crypto cannot decrypt my data. Only I have the key and it is free for non-commercial usage. In fact, let's look at the pricing. Under free, there's a paid version as well in case you want to do unlimited cloud providers. I only going to do it to OneDrive, so I use one cloud provider. I can access it from two devices, and all I've got to do is download the software by clicking on download, downloading and installing it, and you'll see what it does. It automatically creates an X drive. It creates a virtual drive on my computer, and there it is. There is my OneDrive automatically being inserted in there, and it does that because it is able to automatically pick that up. That's the current provider that I use. If I click on add, I'm able to upgrade to a paid version, and then I can do OneDrive and Google Drive and Dropbox, etc. Okay, so how does this actually work? So I'm gonna create a file now on my local computer. I'm gonna type something super, super important into the seriously important file, save that, watch it go out and synchronize under status. There it is. Now go into my OneDrive out into the cloud, make sure the file's there. Yes, it is seriously important.txt. And okay, voila, that's how you expect it to work. We know that my computer is synchronizing perfectly. Now, if I go into the X drive, which is my box crypto virtual drive, and I click on it, and I go to the same folder structure, something important, there's the exact same file, and you notice I didn't have to move it from my documents to the box encryptor. It just does it automatically. Now, all I do is right click on the file I want to encrypt, click on box cryptor, click on encrypt, and that's pretty much it. It's done. It's now encrypted. If I double click on it, it opens. Why does it open? Because it is one of those systems that says, hey, don't worry, we're going to on the fly decrypt it because we know who you are. You've put in your password. This way, it doesn't interrupt your workflow. This is absolutely epic. Now, it's already synchronized out into my cloud one drive something important folder let's open this up let's see what the file looks like and there it is now you can see it's got a dot bc extension it's encrypted now of course you can do this at a folder level so you can right click on the folder click box crypto and then choose encrypt and now everything within that folder will automatically just get encrypted I'm going to have a link to this particular software down in the description. Feel free to try it out, use the free version, and then take control of your encryption before it goes out into any cloud provider that you currently use for storage. Now that you're taking control of your data, don't be so quick to jump on a VPN. Here is a video all about the hard truth about VPNs. And check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head down here to subscribe if you like this kind of tech stuff. And I'll see you in this video or this video, or I'll see you in both. Let's go.